What'd you think, Fink? Was that good? It was a good one. We got to eat a little bit, learn some things, jumped on the bed a couple times. I mean, it's not bad, right? All right. What is up everyone? Andy Kruger here. Today's video, I'm going to give you guys a lesson in positive and negative reinforcement. Now everyone probably has an idea of what positive reinforcement is. Oh, we pet the puppy, we give the puppy a treat, positive reinforcement, but you would be shocked how many people don't know anything about negative reinforcement. One of the most important parts of training a dog. Where everyone goes wrong is they think positive means good and negative means bad. Oh, negative reinforcement, the dog was bad. Positive means we add something, negative means we take something away. It has nothing to do with good or bad. Reinforcement means that the dog is going to be more likely to repeat what happened. Positive, negative. I got my little buddy here, five month old golden retriever puppy, brand new, good to go. I have my slip lead on. And I'm going to use my climb command to demonstrate this. Are you ready, buddy? Are you ready? Oh boy. Are you ready? Positive reinforcement, negative reinforcement. Climb command, puppy, slip lead. Puppy's kibble. Let's go. Freak. Good boy. Who saw what I did there? Who saw what I did? Everyone's going, Andy, what are you talking about? You just pulled the dog off the bed with the leash. Negative reinforcement. Watch my slip lead. Ready for it? Free. Good. Who saw it? You just saw negative reinforcement. Taking away the leash pressure once he hits the ground will get him more likely to do the behavior again in the future. Positive reinforcement, I'm feeding him once he completes the task. Loose leash, free. Pressure, feed. But Andy, he doesn't need the leash to do that. He'll do it with just the food. Stop it, you're missing the point. He absolutely needs the leash to do it. I'm gonna do the exact same thing, getting him back on the bed. Loose leash, loose leash, climb. Tight, boom. I'm gonna say the command I'm training him to do, climb and free. As soon as I say it, I'm gonna add pressure from the leash. Once he gets on or off the bed, I'm gonna relieve the pressure, negative reinforcement, and then I'm gonna pay him, positive. I'm adding something, I'm taking something away. Both will make the dog more likely to do the behavior in the future. Never fails, every time we shoot a video, the neighbor decides to mow the lawn. Loose leash, free. Good boy. Bingo, I pay the man. Okay, here comes the negative reinforcement. Pressure on the collar, pressure on the collar. Puppies on the bed, no more pressure. Climb. Good boy. Loose leash, free. Good boy. Hunt. Nice job, buddy. Nice job. Freak. Nice job, buddy. Good boy. Hunt. Nice job, bud. Good boy. I can do this exact same thing with a sitter down. Oh boy. I'm gonna 
mistake, caught me slipping. Bad trainer. I can do the same with sitting down. Let me get them off the bed first. Free. Switch. Now you could just take the food and do this. Sit. Hey, I did it. I trained sit. My puppy can sit. I did it. But if you really want to train, if you really want to use all the elements of operant conditioning, we need the negative reinforcement with the sit as well. Loose leash, loose leash, sit. Good. It's that simple. That's negative reinforcement. I'm taking away the leash pressure once his rear end hits the ground and applying the pressure and releasing is gonna make him more likely in the future to sit down quickly. Ready? And leash, down. Good. See that? Let's go again. Sit. Good. Down. Good boy. Woo! Let's go! Free. Oh yeah. Binky boy! Binky boy! <laughs> down. Good boy. Down. Good boy. Free. Loose leash. Loose leash. Climb. Good boy. Let's check in with Fink. All right, Fink. So that training session's about wrapped up. Do you feel bad about yourself? Okay. No, he said no. He said, absolutely not, Andy. I feel amazing about that training session. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'd love to hear your feedback. I'm happy to answer any questions that you have. If you don't have one of my shirts, you are blowing it and you need to get one. I'll link it in the description. If you like training sessions like this and you're serious and you want to learn more, you can join my Patreon. Patreon.com slash Andy Kruger. I post on there weekly all the behind the scenes stuff, all the unedited stuff. Um, you know, the YouTube videos are cool, but the Patreon is a membership service. That's where you're really going to get the meat and potatoes of the training. Um, so go check that out. If you don't like it, you can always unsubscribe, but that's pretty rare. I think you're going to like it. Boy. Also on there, I'll probably keep posting updates of Fink's progress here at training camp so you can see this session versus what something in a week looks like. But either way, we haven't proved it yet. I appreciate y'all. Fink's ready for a little run around in the back. He got his session in. Uh, happy training, negative reinforcement. Do it, don't mess it up. Do it, you don't need a prong yet. You don't need an e-collar yet. Negative reinforcement, do it. Right, Finky? I'll see y'all next time. Free. Woo! Heel sit. Negative reinforcement, ready? We're healing, we're healing. We're healing. Sit. Very good boy. Andy, why'd you pull the leash? He was about to sit anyway. It's not about correcting. It's about applying negative reinforcement. I use the leash regardless of what he's going to do. This is proofing. Watch how I heal forward. I'm not going to say heal and go. I'm going to say heal. And then go. Heel doesn't mean walk straight forward, it means be on my left side. Yep. We're gonna stop, we're gonna sit. I'm gonna use both my leash and prong and my remote collar. Sit. I say the word sit, I pressure up on my leash, I pressure on my remote, 
Fink puts his butt on the ground. I relieve the pressure, and then I praise him. He's the good boy. Oi, big fella. 